All right, happy 4th of July weekend, YouTube. Um, wanted to get this review out to you guys as soon as possible. I just bought the uh, boat mule cart. Um, just got it on Thursday, used it on Saturday for the first time, and I uh, wanted to put out a, a quick review for you guys. Uh, there was none available when, when I bought it, so I kind of went off of uh, what boat was saying. Uh, but wanted to give you some, some pros and cons of the carts and tell you what I like, what I didn't, and uh, you guys can make your decision on whether you're going to purchase this cart or not. Um, first, I'll go into a little bit of specifics. This cart, uh, I think I paid $550 for, plus tax, which is uh, pretty expensive for what it is. You can get an entry-level fishing beach cart for probably 120 bucks off of Amazon. Um, so there's there's that, but expect get out of the way. Um, overall, the cart, the construction is is, is pretty good. It reminds me of uh, how a boat, it has like a center console's T-top is built. Um, welded aluminum, powder coated. Got the rod holders. Um, this cart appears that the structure at least will will last for some time as long as that powder coat is kept in good condition. Um, overall it's a, I think a cart weighs about 50 pounds, uh, which is extremely heavy for a fishing cart, especially once you start throwing in some gear on it, um, but the construction is, is solid. Uh, I wish I would have did unboxing on it, I'm not a YouTube video creator content creator or anything like that um, straight up amateur bringing the, you this information just wanted to get it out out to you so you guys can make an informed decision on on your purchases um, but boat boat kind of got me I like their style uh, I like their products I got a paddle board and uh, I've been impressed with it so um, wanted to see what this is all about plus I'm, I'm uh, getting back into surf fishing so uh, first I'll start right here the handle um, pretty solid handle. Take it in, put it in, take it out. The simple removable retaining pin. Um, one thing that I did not like about it is there's there's only one position on it, um, so you can't change the height whether you're tall or short or, or whatever. Like most carts have two to three holes here, so you can change the the position on it. easy to put in, take out. Um, it's got four rod holders. It's got these three tubes right here. Uh, depending on your rod, you may be able to fit a, uh, a rod butt in there. Um, I think I had one out of the three that I tried to put in there that actually fit. So they're not really dubbed as, as additional rod holders. So you're only getting four, whereas some of the carts you're gonna get five, six plus. Um, it did come with five of these pins plus this one to put at the bottom of the the rod holders one thing i didn't i didn't know about it i didn't know i had to have those those pins in and when i went to the beach and used the cart um my rods the rod holders or the rods when it's fully seated inside the rod holder would drag in the sand or on the ground i ended up messing up one of my rods just scraping the crap out of it on the ground so um you got to have these in uh, when you're going to be moving it around now when I did connect this to the Jeep because it does have that option that you can um, it Have a, a accessory hitch and mount it um, To your vehicle which is one of the main reasons I got this. this is the only cart that I saw that you can mount this to your hitch with the um, Add-on accessory of a hitch extender um, And that's what I really liked about it, and that's why I went with this cart. other outside of making a DIY fishing cart, which you could probably do for significantly less money. Um, so that's the, the rod holders. Um, if you do put, go to the beach, make sure you have your pins in because you will drag your rods on the ground. Um, I didn't know if this is a, I don't remember this on my old fishing cart. And it kind of bugged me that, that I had to have that, those in there. Um, I don't know if there was caps or something on on the other fishing cart I used to have. But um, another thing 
with this card. Uh, it does come with these to sit on. I kind of wish that would have been a, a wheel accessory. Um, maybe a pivoting wheel that I could have had on there. Just after one use, um, you can see the bottom of this cart. It's all tore up. So I tore right through the rubber, just setting it on the ground or kind of moving it a little bit. Um, and also the, the coating on this metal U-channel is also scraped down to the aluminum. So um, that doesn't stand up well at all. Uh, I guess maybe I'm supposed to take it out. I don't know, put it in a different position. Um, but it just didn't make sense to have rubber on this, which is gonna be coming in contact with the ground. The wheels, uh, this design is, is pretty cool and it's almost like a, um, like some of the urban assault vehicles. If you're familiar with those, but they're, uh, they can't be punctured, so those, those are good. However, uh, when you're in the sand, these holes fill up with sand and that's gotta create additional weight um, as it digs into the sand and it's, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's a good design. Probably some uh, um, better tube tires would have, would have been a better idea for this. Uh, down here you have the, the hitch um, receiver, we'll call it that. Um, I do love that option, right? I'm gonna use this tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go and put the, the hitch extender on my Jeep and I'm gonna slide this in. Um, and it makes it rise nice back there. I, I drove all the way to the beach with my rods installed. I had a cooler in here um, and some gear and uh, it, it worked great. Um, it is heavy, um, so it's better if you have two people uh, or a good back. Um, but what I did find is that it was extremely to get extremely difficult just after one use, two uses, uh, it's extremely difficult to put on and take off uh, because sand gets in here and uh, just sits in there and it makes it tough for, for the, you to put the cart on and take it off. Um, the wheels, you get the wheels, they're easy to take on and off, just has this clip, pull the clip and then you can take it off. Um, but what I did find is these these wheels, these, they fill up with, with sand as well. And uh, after one use, you can see the wear that I'm getting on these already, just from the sand. Um, so I'm not sure that's a good design. I don't think it's a lasting one For sure So that's kind of disappointing in a, a $550 cart um, Again with the rubber This is kind of a nice Not sure that serve the purpose of it, but I think you, you're supposed to put hooks in it or something like that I don't I didn't really need to do that Um But overall, it's a very solid design. Got your pins, I can show you a close up of that damage too. Not damage, but wear. Again, like I said, this is after one use. Just um, must have drug on some pavement. There's your, your hitch. You can see there's some marks already from hitch going in and out. That's going to wear down the powder coat. Could lead to some corrosion down the line. Um, simple snap-in system for the, the wheel rods. Um, one of the other things that I didn't like, um, you have, when putting different gear in, real easy for it to fall out like I had a surf a sand spike I was trying to keep in here and it was real easy to fall out I had to keep I had to pay attention to it make sure I, I wedged it in there good Go back 
back in now. Just use her. Um, but overall, for a five hundred fifty dollar card, uh, I can say that uh, I am impressed with the the structure, the quality. Um, but I think there's some significant design flaws in this, um, and you may be better suited. Um, make the decision yourself. Uh, but I'm not sure I would purchase this again had I known some of these issues. Uh, they're just minor things, but overall the, the beach cart is very heavy. Um, and I had a Yeti 45 in there, a chair, which a Yeti 45 was probably overkill. It was full with ice, drinks, food. Um, and I had four tackle boxes. Um, probably weighed about 100 pounds and I could not move this thing through the sand to save my life. I could, I'd probably go about 20 yards to, before I had to stop and take a, at least a one minute break. And um, I'm a pretty fit dude, so I was kind of disappointed in that. But yeah, the wheels don't seem to help cutting through the sand at all. It's good on, on the pavement, but um, trugging it through the sand, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be brutal. So don't think you're getting away with it, just easy rolling it through the sand like their their uh their review shows of doing because it's not going to happen if you're trying to take this on the beach um but all in all that's the uh, the boat mule cart hopefully you'll be admit, be able to make a informed decision based off of this review um yeah so thank you have a happy fourth of july weekend and uh tight lines good luck fishing out there